Hi, this time I will make short video about BTS7960 motor controller because I got a lot of questions from Facebook, YouTube and email. Let me show you the driver I'm talking about. Okay, so this driver is uh, rated at 43 amperes and uh, it costs around 10 bucks. And I will show you why this driver is actually not a good option for your remote control lawnmower. Let's get started. So, these two chips that we have here on that motor controller are rated at 43 amperes. But you have to be aware that this is the absolute maximum that these chips are capable to provide. So you will think, oh, I only need 30 amperes for my remote control project. So it's more than enough, right? Well, the case is that uh, it is not only about amperes. Uh, the thing is actually about heat dissipation. So if you look at that board, how it's made, you can see that the heat sink is actually fixed on the bottom of that PCB board. And unfortunately, this heat sink is not able to provide enough heat dissipation for these two chips. And I made some measurements. Uh, and I can say that this motor controller can only handle 20 amperes or less at its maximum. So you have to be aware that less than 20 amperes for this motor controller is absolute maximum. And of course, I recommend a cooling fan uh, for this motor controller to be able to handle 20 amperes constant load. There is also another possible issue with this motor controller. If your idea is to have uh, an alternator on your remote control lawnmower for charging the batteries and power the main electric motors, uh, you have to be aware that these BTS chips on that motor controllers have a voltage, maximum voltage limit of 28 volts before they shut down. So if you have 24 volt alternator, uh, this alternator is actually charging the batteries at 28 volts, which is just around the limit of that motor controller. And here I have prepared one simple test uh, for you to see what's going on when voltage exceeds the 28 volt limit. Let's take a look. Let's move joystick for motor to start spinning. Okay. And now our voltage is at 27 volts and let's increase our voltage at 28. Sorry, 28. Okay, we still, still everything is okay. 29. Oh. And the motor is shutting down at 30 volts. We have complete stop. So you saw that at 29 volts, uh, the motor was actually slowing down. So if your alternator is producing the voltage that is just above the 28 volts limit, there is a potential that you could have a problem. So if you like the content and maybe if I solve the mystery that you have with this motor controller, uh, please consider uh, supporting my channel by hitting like and subscribe. And see you next time.
Bye.